Do you want to get realistic racing like this on NR2003 at Daytona? Well, if so, that's what this video will do. We will show you how to get this track, how to get the stats for the cars, and how to make them race like this. So well, let's get into it. Alright guys, this is the first link in the description. All you're going to have to do is scroll down to Daytona Day, November 2020. Click it, it will drag you down to the actual track and you download it. And download anyway, I already have the track so I don't really need to do I'll do it anyway, whatever. So then it will come down here in a zip file. Uh, then if you want the Daytona car set, you will go to the second, or sorry, not the car set yet. First you need this mod. So first you need the Ford mod, so this will be the second link in the description. Uh, this will give you the mod, so you download this, I already have it also, and then I don't have this, this car set, but I can show you how to get it, I guess, so we'll download that too. Alright, so you click download on this one, and then click download here, and then exit out of this pop-up, unless you have adblock that will automatically block it, that'd be nice. So, oh shoot, so that one you're going to need a 7-zip or something, so hopefully you have some kind of extractor like 7-zip, WinRAR, WinZip. You're going to need one of those things to extract that one. If not, you don't need it. You don't need that. You can do it with the 2022 cars for now. I could make a separate video later on WinZip or whatever. But, so you need those three downloads. And, uh, I'm going to go over N ratings too. If you, uh... If you have N ratings or not, we will also go over that. Uh, I have a tutorial on how to get that too. Uh, I'll have a link in that description. But, um, so where are we at? So we got all the download, okay. So first you wanna find your NR2003, right click it, go to open file location, or you can go to your main drive, Papyrus and NR2003, find your game folder. Uh, go to tracks and then wherever you downloaded stuff go to your downloads on a different one like I'm doing right here you will open up the zip file and then drag this into your tracks I already have it so I don't want to do that because I don't want to change my stuff so then once you get it it will be right here open that up and then go to track I and I make sure you copy it and paste it so that you have a copy I and I just in case of your original just in case you mess it up so open up your track I and I after you made a copy and then we will scroll down scroll down scroll down until you hit AI track and go to see what have I changed I spent a lot of time like two hours yesterday I changed the bunching distance you don't really have to do that but this is just to spread people out on the starts honestly that's probably too much I'll change it to like 2.2 so that way they have two car lengths between each other so they don't start drafting super close right away uh, also so change this to 2.2 if you want it to be like mine you don't have to change that one Next, AI drafting distance. This one is one you do want to change. I think it's 1.4. I changed it to 1.3. And what that's going to do is allow the cars to draft closer all the way around the track. Then I changed the D-Long pad. Oh, I didn't realize this. But I changed the D-Long pad scale to 0.1. What that does is allow cars to get way closer frontwards and backwards uh, when they should be letting off the gas which is going to allow them to get runs and bump people once in a while so because this is normally a higher number I think I think default is 0.3 on this and then the DLAT pad it starts at 1 I changed it to 0.1 and what this does is allow them to get closer side by side or try to make a move side by side so they will really try to side draft and it also makes it so they don't try to go three wide as often and so that it's more realistic. They're still going to go three wide more than real life because on NR2003 they're going to be maniacs because that's what happens. I think the squeeze percent is normal. I think everything else is normal. So that's all you got to change in this. So 
uh, file, save it, and then exit out. I don't think I changed. Oh, I did change something. So yeah, I'll save it too. Then, I don't know why I have two of these. Um, so you should be back to here. Uh, on right here, go click NASCAR Racing 2003. So you get back here. Um, now go to series. And then go to your downloads. I must have exited out. Um, find the Ford 2022 mod and you will drag this one so Ford in 2022 make sure you click on the zip file to get the folder without the zip and then drag it in I'm not gonna show you how to do the uh, other one so I probably won't even throw that in the description the other download but anyway so then you will have it right here and if you want to do the other one, and you know how to do the zip, in fact, I'll show you, I'll show you real quick. So the other one is a zip file, so you have to open something like 7-zip, or WinZip, and it will be this to open. And then, I don't even know what it was called. <laughs> Let's see, right here. Daytona, Talladega, what am I doing? I'm looking for downloads. Okay. So, NCG, it's called NCG. Oh, okay, so you'll open that and then you'll click it and then you'll right click, or you won't even have to right click, just hit extract. Go to here and here. So, it's your main drive, Papyrus NASCAR Racing 2003 season click series, then click the Ford mod, then click cars, and you'll extract it to there, push OK. I'm not going to do that, because, well, I, I can, I can do that. It will throw all the cars, that way I have them for later. So, that will add those cars, which we can go look at now, so, oh, yeah, they're right here. Oh, no, they're not. So, it had an extra folder. So, they're all in here. So open it up, control A, copy. Now go back to cars, right click paste, and then you can delete this folder now. All right, so now that you deleted the folder, go back to NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Then scroll down to Papai AI INI. Then uh, copy it and paste it. That way you have a copy version. Go into it that way just in case because you can mess with this stuff but make sure you have a backup just in case the only things i changed was driver road course short track speedway and super speedway obviously this is only going to affect super speedways for the daytona one but i'm trying to keep it consistent and i'm going to make tutorials for every single track i think so i'm going to base them all around 0.17 for now at least i might change it a little bit but uh yeah, so I think the default is 0.03, and what this is going to allow is the driver stats on that specific thing uh, will change, and I'll explain that in just a second, so make sure you file save it after you change those to 0.17. All it's going to do is separate the cars based on their, their uh, driver rating a little bit. Um, then we can close all of that out. If you have end ratings, you can do this, or else you can skip this step. Uh, if you want a tutorial on N ratings, I'll throw one up right here and um, go over how to download it, how to use it. But then anyway, we find the mod, find the car set, and then import ratings to real life data. 2022, select all. Uh, make sure it's on Max Graphics Cup 3.1 because that's the best version. Make sure it's on NASCAR Cup Series also. Apply. And then scroll down to people like Riley Herbst because he doesn't have any stats yet. I gave him Cody Ware stats. He's driving a 15 car. I think that's pretty easy. Uh, AJ Allmendinger I changed. So... All these people that I'm, I'm going to change, I will explain why. So in our two th or so in ratings, the people that only race some races or whatever, so they didn't do all 36 races last season, they're going to get a 
tank to every single race that they miss, which will give them last place stats for. So what this will do is give them the stats of only people that made every race last season. So for AJ Allmendinger, I actually give him Martin Truex Jr. stats. Maybe that sounds over crazy, but Allmendinger raced, I believe, 18 races last season, and he had the same average finish as Martin Truex Jr. So I'm giving him Martin Truex Jr. stats. Truex was terrible last year, too, so I think that's kind of fair. Allmendinger is really good for him, and so that's what we do there. Now we go to Ryan Priest. Now Ryan Priest is in a better car than his actual stats. So I actually gave him Todd Gilliland stats. Maybe that's wrong, maybe that's right, I don't know. You guys can think a little bit. Just make sure you pick people that have done all the races because it will boost their stats. Uh, Noah Gregson, I gave him Ty Dillon stats. And then, right, Ty Dillon, yes. Connor Daly, I gave Cody Ware stats, but I bumped him down. So what I did is I went to engine, and I went down to, and I went chassis down to. And the reason why is because he was very slow at the Daytona 500. But make, make sure you pick Cody Ware first, and then do that. Ty Gibbs, I gave him Ty Dillon stats. Uh, BJ McLeod, I gave him Cody Ware stats. Everybody else, you can leave. Oh, no, sorry. Travis Pastrana and Jimmy Johnson. We haven't edited those yet. So, Travis Pastrana. Uh, let's see here. Where's he at? I gave him Cody Ware stats. Where the heck is Cody Ware? And then Jimmy Johnson, I gave Michael McDowell stats, which I think is fair. And then you will save it. Everybody will be green. Obviously, I only changed a couple. And we're good to go now. So we can go in and test it out. Single race. Continue. So make sure you have the car set of that you just did and the track. Make sure it's Daytona 2022 BMC. Um, Drivers, to your car. I'm just gonna jump right into it just to explain a little bit of the racing and stuff. Drivers, cars. Okay, so the green flag's out. They're a little bit separated. Uh, I did this on purpose because when I was watching the race, they separated a lot and then they got bunched up, which is weird. And I think it has to do with their new. Um, they kept explaining it that they uh, edited their restart zone and they made it bigger and I think that made them spread out a little bit more. So I did make their bunching distance, that's the reason why I did the bunching distance higher. But uh, wow, they're actually trying to go three wide, but most of the time they're gonna go two wide. In fact, if we if we accelerate a little bit, there there's a chance that they will crash. Okay, so they crashed. So let's accelerate past the crash. Okay, so even in a couple laps in, they're still usually two by two. This is the final lap too, so this is interesting. Um, so there is a chance of crashing. I got about five to six cautions in a 200 lap race, which is basically perfect. I believe there's six cautions in the actual Daytona 500 if you include the stages. Um, because I think there was four crashes, if I'm not mistaken. So I think that's fairly realistic. See, you'll get three wide once in a while, but it's not crazy three wide, and they will crash once in a while, they'll bump draft once in a while, and they'll side draft. So, there you go. Hoping you liked the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, and then right here I'm gonna have a card that will have a playlist of all my other tutorials where it will show you how to crash cars, how I record them, uh, the clash track, how to get it, and uh, a few other things that will help you out. So, see you guys next time.